Uh, Three-dimensional diagrams are something that I'm starting to get, in, get into. Uh, there's a really cool program called Google SketchUp. Is anyone familiar with it? Does anyone use Google SketchUp? It's a free program. It's a free download from Google. And it allows you to create three-dimensional diagrams. And uh, I was working on a uh, murder that happened at the gas station. It was a stabbing. And this gas station had like 12 different cameras, several outside, even more inside, in every corner, down every aisle. So it's kind of tough when you're looking at the video. Now, where in the gas station did this part of the action take place? So I created a three-dimensional diagram of this gas station just to give the jurors an idea of what the gas station looks like on the inside. And Google SketchUp allows you to animate it. You can rotate, you can zoom in, zoom out, you can pan left, pan right. So you have a really good idea what this gas station looks like. And then you can turn that into a video file. So now I've got that, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to incorporate the video of the actual stabbing with this three-dimensional diagram. So here's a really short movie clip for the next slide here. These are just a, several pictures, Google Photographs. This is one video file. It incorporates some photographs, three-dimensional diagram, as well as actual video footage of the static. And you'll see exactly where it takes place by looking at the three-dimensional diagram. I'm going to zoom right into where the camera angle, where the camera would be picking up the video. There's the front door. Zoom in. And there's your footage. Again, the tan shorts is going to get stabbed by the guy coming in right now. Right there. But again, now there's no question where inside the gas station this part of the crime took place. Now, I didn't check this out before I got here, but whenever I transfer this from one computer to another, I don't there we go. All right, hyperlinks. Hyperlinks is something I was talking about earlier. Hyperlinks is a really, are a really cool tool in PowerPoint that allow you to get outside of this concept of linear presentations. You know, we're used to when we use PowerPoint, click, next, click, next, click, next. Even if you're going to do arrows and circles, or on a slide, click, and next slide. Hyperlinks allow you to jump around. You can jump around from one slide to another. You can jump from slide 5 to slide 50 and back. 50 to 22, and any order you want once you learn how to use them. These shaded areas you see are just there for your purposes. So you can see what I'm talking about. The jury would never see those. Where those shaded areas are, are invisible boxes. Those are my buttons. I can click on either one of those evidence markers and jump to a slide that is a close-up of that piece of evidence in any order I want. There's two on here, there could be ten. Now if you think about it, that's pretty cool. I can jump from this slide, I can skip five slides and jump to, you know, evidence marker 15 if I wanted to, and right back to this one, which is a really nice, effective way to present your evidence. So, let's say I want to see seven first before I see six, which is the gun. You can tell, if you look at my cursor, it's an arrow until I get where that box was, then it turns into a hand. That tells me there's an active link there that I can click on. There's the close up to number seven. This entire image is my link back to that slide. I'm right back to where I started. I want to see six. There it is. And then back. In any order I want, as many times as I want. You can not only jump from slide to slide using hyperlinks, you could jump to another presentation. You can actually jump back and forth between several different presentations, which I'm going to be doing over the course of this. You can't tell, but I've got about four or five different PowerPoint presentations running. I'm jumping back and forth between them by using these hyperlinks.